So today I've got my hands on the brand new Cloner Alliance Ultra HD Pro. So this is a compact 4K gaming capture device. It's completely standalone, so you don't even need to connect this to a PC or a laptop. So you just hook it up to your TV and HDMI source. It supports all your gaming consoles, next gen and previous gen, including PS3, PS4, PS5, Xbox One X, Nintendo Switch, laptops, PCs, TV boxes and TV sticks, and lots more. It allows you to record any of those HDMI sources in 4K at 30 frames per second with almost zero latency, and it supports live in-game commentary and live streaming. So quick look at what you get inside the box. A user manual or quick start guide showing you with illustration how to get started. A power supply, HDMI cable, a micro USB to USB-A cable, and a small compact remote control. A red button at the top for recording and stop. Screenshots, display, navigational. You've got playback controls as well along with volume and microphone volume too. And it says the Cloner Alliance Ultra HD Pro. This remote is powered by two AAA batteries. And last but certainly not least, the capture device itself. And it looks no different to an Android TV box. Um, it's made completely from plastic. And you've got the Cloner Alliance logo in the center. And it says their 4K recorder. On the front, you have line in, line out, microphone, infrared for the remote control. Then you've got three buttons, a button to change between H.264 and H.265. You've got a snapshot button so you can take screenshots and a record and start button as well. If we keep going on the side, you've got a micro USB port and that's a connection to your PC. Um, this is standalone, so you don't even need to connect it to your PC, but you would only do that if you want to live stream. So to live stream, you need to connect it to either a PC or a laptop. Now, if we keep going on the back, you've got a physical power button. You've got your power socket, HDMI out and HDMI in. So HDMI out is to connect your display, your monitor or your TV. And HDMI in is where you would connect your HDMI source that you want to record, be it your Android TV box, your game console, etc. That goes in there. And if we keep going, nothing on this side. And that brings us back to the front. And I'll quickly show you what the bottom of the box looks like. Now, the beauty of this capture device, well, you don't need any drivers. It's simply plug and play, and you've got wide compatibility with both Windows and Mac. And I've heard it even works with Linux, and it's compatible with software like OBS and XSplit. Um, it does come bundled with its own software as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get this all connected up, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick demonstration of what this can do. I'll be right back. Now, the first thing I've hooked up is the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K, and you can see the LEDs are flashing blue and green. So flashing blue and green means the input is not supported. So the Amazon Fire TV stick is not going to work because it has HDCP protection. Now let's try something else to see what happens. So I just connected up the PlayStation 5 and I've got my hard drive connected as well. So you can see a stable green light, which means output and recording resolution is currently set to 1080p at 60 frames. If we had a stable blue color, output resolution would be 4K at 30 frames per second. Now you can see an LED light going all the way around. It's gonna be either blue or green. Blue means H.264 encoding and green means H.265. And the beast is right there in all its glory. And I did have to make sure I disabled HDCP for this to work and we are good to go. So if you connect a console which supports 4K 60, the maximum output for recording you can do is 1080p at 60 frames per second. However, if you connect a game console or a device that supports 4K at 30 frames per second, then you can also record in 4K 30. So let's test out some recording. So we're going to press record. You can see at the top left hand corner, we have started recording. It gives you information on the storage size and the recording time. Now everything I do will be recorded. If I had a mic plugged in, it would record my voice as well. Let's just go ahead and try playing something. So open up FIFA. Let's say play match. Here we go. It is a rivalry that speaks for itself. No you can still see it says recording. Teams with passionate fans. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action this game. Here we go. Football without any shadow of a doubt. Manchester United against Liverpool coming up here. Oh, he's through here. Pause the game and stop recording. So hit the record button. It says saving and we're done. So that was our first very easy recording. Press record and away you go. Everything has been saved on the USB drive. If you want to play it back, just hit the play button. With passionate fans, 
Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action live from Old Trafford. Northwest rivals and one of the biggest games in English football without any shadow of a doubt. Manchester United against Liverpool coming up here. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! So that's how the standalone recording feature works. We're going to play some Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I'm just going to record using the front button. So here we go. Yep, recording in progress. I've just connected up a TV box, an Android TV box. I went into the settings for this TV box and set it to 4K30. And when I hit display, you can immediately see HDMI in, 4K 30 frames per second. And if I hit the record button, we are now recording in 4K 30. And this time you can see the LED light is flashing blue, which means we have 4K 30 output for recording. So there you have it guys, that was the new Cloner Alliance Ultra HD Pro, an impressive standalone gaming capture card, simply plug and play, no drivers or complicated software to mess around with, hook it all up, press the record button on the remote control or on the actual unit and away you go. So very easy to use. Also instant playback by pressing play on the remote control. The capture quality for both video and audio was actually quite good. We did get very slight jittering at times, but other than that, low latency, no lag noticed whilst gaming, uh, a very impressive gaming capture card. If you're a gamer and you want to start a gaming channel or start capturing your gaming sessions or even start live streaming, then this standalone capture device will help you achieve this with minimal effort. So it just works as it should, very easy to use, simply plug and play, no drivers required. Now the HDCP protection is not bypassed, so some devices like the Amazon Fire TV stick will not work with this capture card. Any questions, you know what to do. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.